Okay, it's time now for the skinny and topping our headlines this morning, the much anticipated return of Game of Thrones. How am I going to do I really, this? I want to do this. Yeah. But I know we're not spoiling it. Okay. So we're going to have to have faith here because Ryan and I have not seen it yet. So we're going to read this one very carefully. We're going to read it and I'm going to disembody myself from it as I tell you about it. <laughs> now, after last year's death-filled finale, last night's premiere kicked off season six with kind of a reset of all the pieces on the chessboard for what Deadline Hollywood calls the looming event horizon in the battle for the Iron Throne. And it's creating quite a buzz online. Carmen Branson tweets, I think Ghost deserves an Emmy nomination for tonight. His howling left a hole in my soul. Wait, I feel like I'm, what, what does that mean? Now you want to know, right? Oh, Vanity Fair Carmen. tweeted, Game of Thrones really, really wants you to know it's all about women this year. Again, I feel like we're coming I close like to spoiling. Okay, no pics of this, but Mike Moats tweeted, after watching several people get brutally slaughtered. See, I feel like we're knowing too much. Nation is shocked by naked old lady. It could be anybody. <laughs> be lots of naked old ladies, no? You know what's worse than, than getting a spoiler? Getting all these clues. Because now you want you where, Yeah, and then the you go out and have to look it up. It's the like, come on, man. The problem with Game of Thrones is, and we were talking about this, it's just too long. I'm, go, I'm so excited to see the, the new season, and yet I realize I don't remember what happened in the last one anymore. I need some kind of a refresher. The Times has a great write-up. They have this great write-up, What You Missed, New York Times. Check it out, folks, if you haven't watched it yet. It tells you every... I was caught up in five minutes. I've tried to do the video refreshers, and I end up more no. confused than before I even That's started. That's too much. I don't even remember who's who after Okay, so I'll read the refresher. Yeah. All right. Oh, you'll be good. Next, to a bit of a political shocker now. Oh, yeah. Former Pennsylvania Senator Harris Wofford has announced he's getting married to a man. Now, Wofford, a top Democrat who also was a top advisor to President Kennedy and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., revealed his relationship to Matthew Charlton, who's nearly 50 years his junior. Wofford's wife, Claire, died in 1996 after battling acute leukemia after nearly 50 years of marriage. It was shortly after her death that Wofford writes he met the second love of his life. Wofford writes in a New York Times op-ed at 90, at age 90, I am lucky to be in an era where the Supreme Court has strengthened what President Obama calls the dignity of marriage by recognizing that matrimony is not based on anyone's sexual nature, choices, or dreams. It is based on love. Wofford and Charlton have now been together for 15 years, and they get married this Saturday. Hmm. All right, congratulations to them. Next, to a celebrity nearly a century younger, stirring up a sensation across the pond. Britain's Prince George, who turns three years old in less than three months, is setting his own fashion trend. The monogrammed cream-colored oh, yeah. bathrobe that oh, he wore yeah. to meet President Obama set off an online frenzy. One word, smooth. <laughs> George has already got it. The British retailer who made it, he said, my first year, it's called my first years, says the $40 robe sold out after the picture was released, but they are still taking orders. That's jolly good. This guy... I mean, George already. I wonder what kind of sizes it comes in, because I have to confess, it looks very comfy, and I kind of want one. And, and you know what? The way he wears it, look at him. It's just <laughs> effortless with this guy. He's two, and he's the smoothest kid in the world. That's true. He's very charismatic. Look at him. You see the people waiting on him? He's like, yes, I'll Whatever. have my tea now. I'll just wear this robe like a boss. Just a boss. Finally, we're getting our first look at one of the world's newest celebrity babies. Oh, yeah. More than a week after Kelly Clarkson and husband Brandon Blackstock welcomed their second child into the world, the Grammy-winning singer is, songwriter, I should say, is sharing her first photos of their newborn son. His name is Remington Alexander Blackstock. The candid photos show mom giving her baby boy a sweet kiss on the forehead. Oh, the other shows him in the protective arms of daddy, of course. The caption says, meet Remy, our newest addition to the family. Just adorable. I love the name too, Remington and Remy. Great name, great I name. Like